All right, for this clutch, I'll show you the uh, <coughs> sires and theme for the clutch. Um, the Mystic Special is uh, it's an allelic. The jeans are allelic, so the animal actually looks quite cool. I'm not gonna give her give you guys a preview of what <coughs> she looks like. She had a large rat a couple days ago, so I won't mess with her too much. But that's what Mystic and Special looks like, and I think this looks awesome. I think it looks better than the Crystal. Um, so yeah, this is more towards, with the Special Gene, I want to do a Mystic Special Clown. So, I think this with Clown would look awesome. The Crystal... Clowns look pretty cool, but I think this one would look even better. And I'll show you the male. Here's the Butter Blade Clown. This guy is awesome. Looks amazing. Don't mind the dry shed there. Canada gets dry in winter. Here's the lesser clown. He's a beast. Beast eater, beast breeder, awesome all around male. I think I'm actually gonna sell him just because I have that butter blade clown. So it's kind of redundant in my collection now, but he's produced clutches for me. Uh, he's been a good animal. Eats like a beast. Like it's hard to believe this is. <laughs> he's freaking out. <laughs> He wants to be with females. All right, I'll put him back in. Um, she laid seven eggs. There was three slugs, and then one egg uh, went bad through incubation. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, see what we got. These ones are day fifty-three. Uh, so yeah, I've been checking them out, checking the veins and stuff. I think we're ready. To Cut them open, see what we get. <coughs> All right, let's get to it. Get rid of these. All right, egg number one. Looks like they're quite juicy. In there looks like we have a phantom or sorry mystic that'll be a mystic head clown One. This clutch might have actually been a good one to do with the uh, razor blade. Been having some trouble controlling the moisture with this clutch. So, that one looks like a blue eyed Lucy, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Special combo as well. Lesser special would be awesome, but it's awesome that I hit the blue eyed Lucy. It's really one. That's one of the combos I was hoping to hit. If it's a female, 
even better. So that Blue Eyed Lucy will be a mystic and either a lesser or butter. Uh, so yeah, let's cut open this last one here. See what we got. And it looks like another blue eye. Yep, another blue eye Lucy. I don't know if you can see that. Awesome. Hopefully one of those is a female. So, not sure I... Well, obviously if I hit on the Blue-Eyed Lucy, there's not going to be any special in there. Uh, this one looks like... Oh yeah, that's a Mystic. So no luck on the special this time. But... Turns out it was a good move because I bought a special head clown female off of a friend of mine uh, ballistic pythons out of Winnipeg so yeah I wish I was really pulling to get a special but that's okay I'm happy with what I got here I'll be head for clown so that's awesome if one of those blue eyes is female it'll be staying here if it's a male, it'll probably still stay here. Uh, because Mystic, which is arguably the same gene as Phantom, make awesome clans. So, yeah. Any females in this clutch will likely stay here unless both of those blue eyes are female. I might sell one. Pop these back in the incubator. <coughs> and I just have some stuff... I wanted to share, ask some questions, so maybe I'll turn the camera on me for a second here, and uh, yeah, we will discuss some stuff. All right, now we got the camera on me, so uh, yeah, just wanted to share something I've kind of found out with uh, my breeder females this year. Um, as we're going into winter, I've got females that go generally first half of the year, usually around March, April, the later clutches, but so they're starting to go off food, getting a lot more picky, they want smaller meals. Uh, so one thing I tried this year, which I haven't done in other years, is I've been trying to feed my animals, or offer my animals uh, chicks. I just buy the small chicks from my rodent provider. Um, and surprisingly, I was feeding them to my males and stuff just to give some variety in the diet and stuff that feeds really heavily, feed well. Uh, I was offering them chicks here and there just to add some variety to the diet, try and make sure they're not overeating. Uh, so yeah, when the female started going off food, uh, which would have been probably within the last month. Uh, I offered rats, like the ones that usually take a large or medium rat every week. They're just starting to turn their nose up at everything. Try smaller rats, uh, mice, didn't want any of it. But I offered them chicks, and they take the chicks. Usually they'll have a couple of them, actually. So, uh, yeah, maybe that's something other breeders out there can work into their program, what they got going on. Uh, help build them females up a little more, get a little more production out of them, maybe. Uh, so, yeah, that was just something cool I learned this year. Uh, I've only been breeding a few years, some years more successful than the others. Uh, I'm still having some trouble with slugs, so I think I need to get my temperatures more figured out, but it's kind of tough in this room. It doesn't have the best windows. Uh, and when I first moved here, moved my collection in, I went from a smaller room with carpet, baseboard heat and stuff, which seemed to work extremely well, to, you know, vent heat, big window, 
uh, no carpets, so everything is kind of, everything was a lot different, so I had some pretty major issues come up when I moved the collection over to quite a new environment, had to basically relearn all the settings of my equipment and stuff, and tried a bunch of different things to get the conditions to where they need to be, and getting there, slowly I guess, some clutches are more successful than others, maybe focusing too much on some stuff, but yeah, anyways, yeah, maybe you guys can try the small chicks out with, if your bigger females go off food, and uh, yeah, let me know what happens when you try it, maybe it's just a few of my females are weird, yeah, if you got any questions, requests, anything at all, just comment, I'll get back to you, I usually try to get back to the comments within a day, sometimes I get busy, and they get missed, so, but I will get back to you if you comment. Alright, Happy New Year everybody.